drama. Drama. Take the script. I'll take it when I'm ready. Are you ready? Yeah. Hey, what about my script? I don't have a script. Where's mine? Oh, you don't need a script. No. You're the star. I'm the star. Hey, I'm the star. Well, thank you. Come on. <laughs> Thousand dollars or I shall foreclose the mortgage, you uh, rat. Uh, I will not pay you the money. Well, that's a money. There, there, it's in the script. Don't get excited. It's in the script. Now pay me the fifty thousand dollars or I shall foreclose the mortgage, you wrote it. I will not pay you the money. I'll knock your. Are you sure it says anything about hitting right the fat right boy? Now <laughs> then, pay me the... Pay me the... Look at you, what, Juicy King? What's the matter with you? <laughs> pay me the $50,000 or I shall foreclose the mortgage, you rat. Hey, hey, where are you going? Where are you going? Here. Come back here, we're not through yet. That's all right. Stay away till the finish. Yeah. But don't forget to come back. Hey, Johnny, guess what? What, Billy? What? Mom and Dad just bought me a real electric toy television camera. No kidding? Yeah, no kidding. And I got a great idea. We used a TV camera to fool those neighbors of mine, the Three Stooges. Well. <laughs> so hurry up and get over here and bring your plastic space helmet. Okay, I'll be right there. Here I am. What took you so long? <laughs> Boy, television is better than ever. Aha, Nora Nightingale. You are about to be sliced in two by my giant sawmill blade. <laughs> you know how to hurt, girl. Hey, here comes handsome brave me to the rescue. Atta boy, go get him! Yippee! The jig's up, Nasty McDeedley. Hand over, Miss Nightingale. Passes. You really know how to hurt a guy. <laughs> Give it to him, hero! Smash him! Punch him! Ouch! You knucklehead! Watch where you're swinging. Oh, uh, sorry. Okay, Billy, we're all set to broadcast to the Stooge's house. Stand by. Stand by. What's going on? Hey, I just oiled the set yesterday. Due to an invasion from Mars, your program has been temporarily interrupted. Invasion from Mars? We've been attacked. Help! Silence, Stooges. I shall destroy your planet unless you do exactly as I ask. Hold me tight. I'm scared. Keep it up, Billy. You're doing great. Are you dunderheads ready to cooperate? Yes, sir. Uh, yes, yes, yes. Aye, aye. Okay, Curly Joe, you go to the kitchen and get two gushy blueberry pies and make it snappy. Uh, yes, Your Majesty. Come back with the pies. Good. Now shove them in Larry and Moe's faces. <laughs> I like the invasion from Mars. I'd much prefer lemon meringue. Silence, you pie face. Here's your next assignment. Oh, no, you don't. I'm changing the channel. Hey, stop that. I sold a diamond ring to a duck. Uh, did he pay you cash? No, I put it on his bill. Yuck, 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 yuck. Well, I'd rather go back to the Martians. It's about time. I almost destroyed the world. Okay, Billy. Give him a piece of resistance. All right, Stooges. As your final assignment, you must deliver a truckload of candy to 7023 Second Street. That's 7023 Second Street in the heart of Hollywood. If you do that, we will not destroy the Earth, and we will leave peacefully. Yes, sir. 7023 Second Street? Yep. There they are now. Go answer the door. Hi, Mr. Martian. We got your candy. A whole truckload, Earth man? Yes, sir, a whole truckload. It worked, it worked. We tricked them real good. Yippee! Hey, you're not meant for Mars. You're just little kids. Oops, I goofed. It's bye-bye time. Yeah, bye-bye. Hey, Mo, the Martians are in the truck eating all the candy. <laughs> Don't worry. They're not Martians, just bad little boys. Come on out, you guys. I'm going to spank you. Those aren't kids. They're real Martians. Whoa! Oh, boy, I thought oh, they were going to get you. Oh, my God. Now then, let 
me see. Uh, where was I? Uh, you, uh, wait, oh, uh, you forgot to pay me $50,000. Oh, then pay me the $50,000. <laughs> That's enough. I've taken all I'm going to take off of you, Mo. You are nothing but a little spot, ugly bully. You think you're tough. You're showing off all the time, huh? I'm talking to you. You with the uh, beetle haircut. You think you're tough here? There's a line. Step over the line, buddy boy. Step over it. Just step over there. Come on. See? Now you're on my side. <laughs>